Hello, and welcome to Dark Souls Part 22. Yeah, uh, this isn't going to be the Painted World straight away, it's going to be Analon though. Leading up to the Painted World, we're going to be exploring the wonderful, awesome looking Analon though, that you don't really get to explore as much as I'd want. You only get to like a cathedral, and I don't know. These are the enemies here, there's, they're like guardian type things. There's them, and there's hydras, and there's two gargoyle demons, the first real boss we fought, they're now normal enemies. But they are the easiest thing in the world. There's also uh, the Painted World Guardians. Uh, there's two different types of them, but they're not really that hard. Uh, this is where the first bonfire is, and a woman there who is part of Gwen's Covenant, I think, that you can join. I will show that later, where to go to get that. Oh, I think I am. Um... Oh my god. Oh. Right. <laughs> We are kindling a bonfire because this is one of the ones that we will come back to loads. Especially when it comes to uh, Orstein Smorg, they are going to destroy me. But we ain't got to worry about that for a while, so that's not. Uh, so, we're just getting ready. Just kindling some fires. Just kindling some fires. Uh, up, this is where Mimic Chest started going good again. So, on the way before I came here, I went to the merchant in the Underberg, the first merchant, and bought some Lloyd's Talismans. They're like a thousand each. Maybe. I think. They're not much, but I got a few of them because there's quite a few mimic chests here. Uh, and I will clearly show you, the, you how you can see the difference. We're going to go back in there because there's another chest. There's three chests up here, and I think that's it for now. Uh, all guarded by these guardians. I'd recommend. Oh, I was just looking off the edge to see it awesome. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> I'd recommend fighting these both uh, singly on their own if you dual hand the iota. Uh, the wield the iota. I don't know how you'd say that. Two hand it. Uh, they're not that hard, but one at a time they're not hard at all. Just get under their legs and slash their testicles. I don't know if they have. I don't know if they're actual things or they're like stone. The stone guardians in the forest. Because they're not human, are they? Look at that. <laughs> That's not. Jesus. I'm just slashing his ass. But there's four of them. There's only one chest in this room. There's two in the other. Uh, also, this is near the entrance to the Light Great Library. Or we won't be won't be going to a while because we haven't got the Lord's vessel, but I think it'll be the first place we go once we have the Lord's vessel. Uh, we should be ready. It is a terrible place. It's a horrible place. Uh, the I can't really just skip behind. They're like um, they have all guards. I can't remember. They're uh, pew, pew, pew. like the other guards with the massive shields and the big sword. Uh, you just gotta get around the shield. The shield is the only really worry. What was that? Oh, Demon Titanite. There's quite a few boxes of Demon Titanite in it, but still won't be getting the Chaos Blade. Uh, this is also where the Giant uh, giant Blacksmith is in Anlondo. We'll be going to. After that, there's only one other Blacksmith, uh, Hawkeye Goth, in the DLC, who we'll be going to when we play the DLC. Uh, oh, oh, God. This is a long walk. Um, when we play the DLC, I'm still not that far in it. <laughs> I'm still not. There, I was showing a... What was I even doing? I don't know what I was kicking there for. I don't know. I was kicking. Uh, over there, is that a picture of Smog? Picture. Statue. I think there's a statue of Smog and Austin was in the other one. Uh, I don't know their story. Uh, I think... No, I really... His name's Dragon Slayer Smog, I think. I think. I don't know. Uh, they're knights. They're not on like, the level of Artorius, I don't think. Or uh, Hawkeye Goth. I think they're like just below them. They're just like knights. Um, who kind of assholes. I... T I walked in a complete circle. I don't know why I did that. They're, these enemies are just... I don't think there's two more after this. And then once inside the cathedral, whatever it's called, there's another two. But as soon as you open up the big door later on, you don't ever have to fight these guys again. They're just an irritation. But I'm just slashing his testicles. Right. The one on the right, the chest on the right, is a mimic chest. Uh, you can tell the chain is not a circular thing. It is a straight line. So, throw a Lord's Talisman, he opens his mouth, and you get a Crystal Halberd, I think that said. I don't know. But, then just kill it. They're not hard. Now we've got the plus 15 Iota. We just own. We didn't have a chance. Uh, there is a Mimic Chest inside that will allow you to get a Mimic Chest head. Well, it's kind of gross, and I don't know why you'd ever use it, but you can, if that was what you wanted. Um, now we're going to go to the big elevator, the big swirly elevator. Oh, over there where that guy is, that's the way to the library. But yeah, until you get the Lord's Vessel, it is blocked off by a shimmery yellow door. Um, this is where the elevator is, just stand on it, it will trigger it, and then it will permanently go up and down. It's kind of annoying, you have to wait for it all the time. 
but I bet it's, it's better than other doors when if you die you have to like go wait for it I don't know <laughs> words have escaped me okay um, down here is the first gargoyle uh, and then you can't carry on because the bridge is turned the wrong way so you have to go round and make parkour run and jump crap and you can get through <laughs> Uh, the gargoyles are essentially exactly the same, they do exactly the same moves, but now they're just... I don't know if they're weaker or I'm just really stronger. Um, and not, not... There's not two of them. I don't think either of them breathe fire as well, so you don't have to worry about that. But you can just stand under it and they will get stunned a lot. They're, that was it. And I got all three items. Well, was pretty cool. <laughs> I've never got all three items of them before. Uh, I will not be using any of them, as most times, but I like the gold-helmed stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, you got to walk up this. this. This is scary. My controls are not being nice. There's quite a few areas in Alon though, you have to walk up small platforms. And there's like the infamous area of walking up a small point and there's like the uh, Silver Knight uh, archers. That are kind of arseholes. <laughs> Gonna be honest. As soon as you come in here, get to the right, look up. There is one of the things. And they'll jump on you. But, one hit. Up here, they're one hit. For some reason when you go down below, they're two. I don't know why I'm saying they jump in damage. Um, I think the difference between the male and female ones is the weapons they use. I'm not sure what. Two, some of them hold uh, two daggers and one holds a dagger and a shield. They all throw throwing knives and if you dodge enough throwing knives they'll just walk at you. Uh, this bit sucks. Walking across this platform is terrible because they're up there and they throw knives. Being knocked off is the worst thing. But also because in this game enemies kind of had weird pathing. The whole system works of they see you, they try and kill you and they do their pre-programmed routine but eventually they'll run at you and jump at you and you can make them fall off quite a lot of the time uh, they're not really great at this also the chandelier you can cut once we get to it but look also this shield is just blocking all their throwing knives they're being useless and after about three or four they'll run at you anyway and just it's not nice slashing them there because with every attack in this game you take a step forward so if you're diagonal there's a chance you could fall off uh, slash the chandelier 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 <laughs> Chandelier, um, you know, there's another two, I think, they throw knives, they're not cool guys, you just got to be really patient, or you could, they could do this, and do that, <laughs> and there's like loads of guys down there, do they not wonder what's happening, their brothers and sisters are just falling, the other one might do exactly the same thing, because they are bad at this, look at that. The giant statue of Gwendolyn in front of us with her massive breasts. <laughs> I just thought it should bring it up. It's, it's, a, it's a hard thing to miss. It's weird. That jump I shouldn't have made. Just take the ladder. That was way too close for comfort. You can keep going down some stairs, but there's nothing. So don't worry about it. Just go and turn the bridge. Um, yeah, there is nothing up there. Down there. I was thinking about going there, but then I realised there is nothing. Uh, you can turn this bridge. If you keep turning it down, I think it will take you to Gwen. But if you turn it up, you just carry on going. Uh, what we will be doing, because we will go to Gwen after we do the Painted World. I'm not going to be fighting him. I don't, I've don't. i never fought him before, and I'm not taking that risk. Uh, I'm not going to try and fight a dude I've never fought before. And also, it, it changes stuff, and I don't want things to change. I don't like change. <laughs> yeah, If you go another level down, it takes you to Gwen. We'll do that later, though. Uh, but, oh, yeah, I thought the guard door. Guard door, I can't speak, I'm sorry. I've recorded a lot of these. I cut his tail and it does nothing. Just means he can't hit you. But you can just stun lock him. They didn't have poise, they are bad. I don't think I'd get anything off of him. I've already got everything I can get, so, who cares. Um, so down here, there is the, there's loads of painted guardians. There's a um, spell. <laughs> yeah, I think it's summon weapon or magical weapon or something you can get off the chandelier and also the only mural in the whole game like the the painted world i'm pretty sure is meant to be like a place they send things that are not meant to be like priscilla's in there who's half dragon the only one of her kind there's uh cr half crow people that are the only place are in the game there's these poison hollows there's all these different things that are not in the rest of the game and it's meant to be essentially like a cell or a prison even if they put their self in there voluntarily it's meant to be like a cell and a prison but it's not really secret, seeing as the only picture, the only mural in the whole game, is that one. <laughs> like, it's not in a room full of pictures, and you've got to find the right one. In this massive room, 
there's a giant picture. <laughs> so, I don't know. And there's the whole thing with Dark Souls 2 is um, the, the place that the dragon castle or whatever it is. What the dragons are is essentially the, the bridge and the castle in the painted world of Aramis. How the fuck you say that? So, that's cool. Also, in the trailers, in the early trailers, it showed snow. And the only place in this whole game that has snow is the paint world. So, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. But it could be. And it most probably is. What's cool. Um, but it's cool. You can already see it. It's huge. It is ridiculous. And you can only get in if you have the peculiar doll from the asylum that is in your cell for some unknown reason. I don't know. I think it's something to do with Velka. Seeing as the crow picks you up, there's crows in there, there's a Velka uniform thing in there. Lots of stuff to do with Velka. And there's a whole thing of Priscilla's mum might be Velka. There's a statue in there that isn't Gwendolyn. Like, the only person it could be, like the size of a dragon. Because she's half dragon. So Velka, most probably their mum, could be. You know, I'm getting this off Epic Name Bro, okay? I'm using his information here. <laughs> he has a whole video on it. Watch it. It's great. He's amazing. Um, <laughs> I'm just stealing people's content. But at least I admit it, unlike lots of people. Uh, these guys are not tough. It's just you can st strafe left and right out of the way they're throwing knives. Oh, there's another one. Uh, you can get the, the I say uniform. They're set inside the painted world as well. I've never come here without peculiar, the peculiar dolls. So I don't know what happens if you haven't got it. But if you have got it and you examine the giant picture where there's no other pictures in the whole of Dark Souls. So why the hell are they trying to keep it a secret? I don't know. Look at that. How could you miss that? <laughs> okay, right. If you do, you get sucked in. It's like... I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to think what it's like. I think I'm like... I don't know. Through the looking glass or some shit. See, actually, yeah. Through the looking glass. Na, na, na. And it takes us to the awesome painted world. It's really cool. It's really, really cool. I've never tried going back up the bridge. I guess you just can't. Um, but it'll take us up here. This video is kind of short. It's just the next video is going to be half an hour. We're just doing the whole painted world in one video. Uh, we're going to go to the bonfire and get settled, settled in in the lovely snowy world. And then next time we'll come and do the whole painted world. So yeah, I still haven't looked if I've said this right. This has been Dark Souls. I've been Archie, and this is enjoy. I don't, I don't fucking know what I said. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Leveling up. Oh God. Goes on. Jeez. Da -da -da -da. I've already said the thing. I don't say now. Goodbye. <laughs>